Dozens of protesters participated in the Walk a Mile in Our Shoes movement in Spokane today. They are hoping to get Congress to reunite immigrant families. They stood outside the offices of representatives all over Washington today. Jack Ferris, working for you, was outside the office of Kathy McMorris Rogers this afternoon. Yeah, if you saw a couple hundred uh, pairs of kids' shoes on Post Street this afternoon, it was to acknowledge the more than 2,300 children who have been separated from their families by our government. Uh, two weeks ago, President Trump signed an executive order to stop family separations, but thousands of children are still without their parents. Our protesters were outside of the office of Kathy McMorris Rogers, pleading the congresswoman to take action. Among the protesters was Olga Lucia, who emigrated years ago from Colombia with what she called privilege. Here, and I was one of those people that came into this country thinking, why do people have to come here without documents? Why do they have to be illegal? That's how I used to think, and, and it wasn't until I got myself educated and started helping them that I understood that number one is something that has happened throughout history, and number two, there is no right way to do it. Olga Lucia now works as a translator for immigrants. The gathering ended with protesters reading firsthand stories of families being separated. Now, last month, remember the congresswoman released a statement claiming she did not believe families should be separated for breaking federal immigration laws. This afternoon, we reached out to her office and her staff gave no official comment on today's protests. Reporting from studio tonight, Jack Ferris, KXY4 News. Jack, thank you.